Hey everyone, Scott Nichols here with Sickbo Creative Studios, and today we're gonna to take a look at Prisma, Prism Effects, and Abstract Lens Effects, the ultimate Prism Effects toolkit for unique kaleidoscope and diopter effects with drag and drop ease. Prisma is like having 30 abstract lens filters in your camera bag for the price of one, a powerful tool in every creative's toolkit. Drag and drop your video clip or image into ready-made sequences with pre-designed abstract lens effects and export to any video software. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use this AE template and transform your footage with stunning prism distortions, unique glass effects, and bokeh effects sourced from authentic prism lens effects and split diopters. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community, leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. Let's get started. When you download and unzip the pack, it's gonna come with your After Effects project file and a media folder, which has just a stock image included in it. When you open the After Effects project file, we're gonna have your media folder here on the left, and then I've imported two video clips just for this example, and your sequences. And in your sequences, you're gonna have your prism effects. And here are over 30 prism effects that you can easily scan through and pick the one that fits your footage the best. This template is uber simple to use. All you have to do is click on the first sequence, the master media. This will open up your timeline. Right here, we just have this standard photo that comes with it and you can simply just drag your video clip on top of it and simply click through any of the other sequences and your video clip will automatically register in that sequence. As soon as you find the look that you like, you can just simply export the clip and then drag it into any other video editing software that you use. There are multiple variations of seven primary glass effects. So the first one you're gonna get is the center prism, which kinda of has all these multiple refractions. You can get multiple versions of that. Then you're gonna get your center field split diopters. You can get a vertical, horizontal, slanted left, and slanted right version. You can get three kaleidoscope looks. You can get nine different linear prism looks two split diopter effects, four split prism looks, three square prism effects, and two triangle prism effects. And so I'll just cycle through them just so you can take a look at them. You have your center prism one, center prism two, a right and a left center prism. You have multiple split diopters. three different kaleidoscope looks, I'm going to close some of these really quick, here are multiple variations of the linear prisms, you have some, one where it just goes straight up to the right down, left, basically all the different directions. Center, slanted left, and slanted right. And you have linear prism eight, which has this really cool kind of mirrored glass look to it. Same same look with just less refractions. Split diopter on the bottom, split diopter on the top. And then you have your split prisms on top, bottom, right, and left. And then you have a square prism which is really cool. You can get the square look and then these refractions on the side. Square prism two. 
Square Prism 3 is probably one of my favorites. It says about 15 different layers here, as you can see. The Triangle Prism 1 and Triangle Prism 2. So there's really not much more to it. I mean, it's just that simple. You drag and drop your video footage into the master sequence and then it populates throughout every other sequence and automatically registers the prism effect looks. So master media sequence, the sequence is 30 seconds in duration. And so you can easily just set your in and out points to your video clip by pressing B or and scroll to the end of your video clip here and press N and that will set your out point. And then you can go to whatever look you'd like. And for this instance, I will just use Kaleidoscope 3 and I will set my out point here and export it. It's in 4K, it's a 4K sequence. Okay. Don't need audio, so I will turn off my audio setting. And you can go in here and click your format options for your video. And this is where you can change your video codec to whatever you would like. I will do Apple ProRes 422 for this example. Click OK, OK. And then I will set the folder. I will just send this to the desktop for this example. And click OK. Click Render. And there it is, it's just that easy to give your footage that awesome prism effect look of kaleidoscopes and different split diopters. Super intuitive and easy to use. So have fun with this. We recommend checking out the 3D device animations template. It's a great complimentary pack for your post-production toolkit. Super easy to use After Effects template is designed to let anyone, even without prior After Effects experience, to deliver stunning 3D results with just a few clicks. Drag and drop your video content into the screens of any 3D desktop, laptop, tablet, and mobile device. This template gives you full control to create your own scenes with any of the devices, and it also comes with 100 pre-animated scenes to save you a ton of time. Each 3D device animation is rendered in 4K with an alpha layer to easily stack and arrange the devices in any style you would like. It's the perfect template to advertise mobile apps, showcase portfolios, social media, UX UI design, gaming, commercials, and really anything you want to place in the context of a device's screen. No third-party plugins necessary. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.